Welcome to Rick Snyder's Washington on YouTube, where you get the whole story. So please like, share, subscribe, comment, even hit the thanks button. Weekend wanderings, where are we going? Well, not outside, because it's hot as Hades out there. So I picked out something new for you that you probably have no idea about, because I really didn't either. The National Postal Museum. What, stamps? That was my reaction. I, I talked to a couple of tour guides I know, and we were talking about a place to go, yeah, the National Postal I said, stamps? Who cares? And they're like, no, no, this is a really cool place. I'm like, I don't know, man. They go, no, there's more than stamps. So I looked it up, and yes, you know, it, there is. Now, first off, it's at 2 Mass Avenue Northeast, which is basically come out of Union Station, turn right, and it's the first building you hit right there on the circle. So take Metro there. It'd be the easiest way to go uh, on there. They're open every day, 10 to 5.30, except Christmas. Every other day, open, and it's free. So got to love that, free. You know, and they have exhibitions of things related to the post of the uh, service, things like mail call, how the mail went in the military back from the Revolutionary War to now, or how they have things of how the mail works, uh, the vehicles of the postal, and the postal inspectors. I mean, OK, so it's not stamps. It's still related to mail, but there's some cool stuff. But there's a really great exhibition for us sports people right now. There's a baseball one there, things like fan letters to to uh Teams and players and memorabilia. The memorabilia is pretty awesome. Uh, Honus Wagner card, you know. Yogi Berra's 1951 Yankees jersey. Uh, the 34 uh, bat of Lou Gehrig in his jersey. Roy Campanella's 55 Brooklyn Dodgers jersey. Clemente, uh, Ty Cobb, Ruth, all bats there. And Jackie Robinson's jersey. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. And there's even an envelope that they mailed the Hope Diamond to the Smithsonian. They mail something worth $250 million. The envelope's in this museum. So anyway, go see the National Postal Museum and stay out of the heat this weekend. See you soon. Thanks for coming.